Let's see if I can make you proud of me. Mama, I spent some time looking up black history, reading and researching, Googling and internet working to be prepared to speak up on it. I know this would have been something you would have wanted. Job as an investigator taken, but I was mistaken. I didn't realize that I didn't have to search that far. I didn't realize that it wasn't as close as the most distant star, or as if it's in a destination where you are. But it is where you are, because it is you. Adding you to other great names that came before you, during you, and after you was long overdue. Born to Lee and Marie, back on April 10th of 1933, Irma Jean Green was the name that was gifted to you. I know that back then that you had no clue that your birthday would be a contradiction, having it also the date of your death as its depiction, the Alpha and the Omega. I have to show the world what I am made of. As your grandchild, I'll be bringing understanding to what all this means by speaking about the significance of what that dash that lies in between the day you were born and the day you claim your victory and went home where you belong with your parents in glory. April the 10th, 2007, you celebrated your birthday a little with us, but mostly in heaven. That dash. That dash that is in the middle of the dates that are on your headstone. Hard work, perseverance, and dedication is what you have shown. By putting work behind faith, R. Kelly, you believe you could fly. Graduating from college during a time putting a thumb through a needle's eye would have been easier to try. Calling you a nigger. As if that was the name that your parents put on your birth certificate. But Big Mama Marie and Papa Lee showed you the best way to handle it. You were courageous and your light contagious. You smiled through your struggles when most of us would have lost our patience. You picked being an educator as your profession. I clearly was engaged during this lesson. Not just me, because almost all of the apples that come from your tree also followed your roadmap precisely. Being a teacher allowed you the opportunity to teach over two decades of children who would have possibly been in a newspaper in one or two spots or a mixture where the loved ones, police or FBI put up pictures, lessons that have no price tag and a zero return policy, showing your pupils that them graduating was possibly, you were still hoping so many, your passion for your career, you had plenty. Being one of the originals that brought the idea of having a cafe at True Vine Baptist Church to teach children how to pray, to grab and hold children who have gone astray, of those who simply just needed a hot meal for that day. Your love of teaching children was shared also by your two sisters, and in 1955, you gave birth to me and my mother when you found your mister. Edward Newton saw your halo early and gave you his last name. The two of you had hearts so big will make the state of Texas a shame. Given to those who were less fortunate, providing children necessities that their parents were too poor to get, because you guys realized that school supplies for blacks was not proportionate. Immortalizing that dash, which is your legacy, I hope I made you proud of me, mama. By taking the date of your death and giving it breath by putting behind it a comma. I love you, Irma Jean Newton. <laughs>